Thank you. The holiday traffic rush is on. We're taking a live look at the Los Angeles airport in California. You can see people rushing to catch their flights. And they are obviously not alone. According to AAA, nearly a third of the country is expected to travel somewhere for the holiday. And if you're planning on driving to your destination, don't expect to get anywhere fast. Yeah, Tom Costello has more on what you can expect if you're hitting the highway or the skies this weekend. It's that last big getaway of the summer. Millions of Americans driving into a busy travel weekend ahead. I'm expecting a lot of traffic. We expect, yeah, a lot more people, a lot more crowds, uh, especially with a long weekend. AAA says bookings for domestic travel, including flights, hotels, rental cars, and cruises, are up 4% since Labor Day last year, and a whopping 44% rise in international bookings, with top destinations including Vancouver, Rome, London, Dublin, and Paris. With an estimated 95 million Americans expected to travel in the coming days, experts say the best times to avoid heavy traffic are in the evening and the early morning, right about now. The longer you wait during the rest of the day, more people are just going to be filtering on the road. So if you can get a good jump start on the holiday, you'll be out ahead of the crowd. Some cities with typically heavy traffic are expected to be even more congested than usual, including L.A., Seattle, Houston, Atlanta, and Boston. It takes us three hours. It takes us three hours. We're there for the weekend. We'll have a good, good old time. So some travelers are planning ahead. And then we're actually going to go back on Sunday, so we're not dealing with the Monday traffic. And with the roads expected to be packed, experts are urging motorists to drive with patience to avoid what's become a nationwide problem, road rage. A new survey finds the most confrontational drivers are in Arizona, followed by Rhode Island, West Virginia, Virginia, and Oklahoma. If you're looking for polite drivers, head to Delaware. They're nice there. And many drivers are getting a break at the gas pump. Average gas prices now $3.82 a gallon per AAA. That's close to the same time a year ago. Meanwhile, the holiday rush is on at the airports. The TSA expecting to screen more than 14 million passengers this weekend. And no surprise here, our state is expected to be a popular travel destination. The main Turnpike Authority says more than a million vehicles will be traveling between now and Monday, increasing slightly from last year. So here are the peak traffic times from now until 7 p.m. if you're going north. On Saturday, doesn't matter if you're going north or south, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., that's the peak. Then Monday, the peak time going south will be from noon until 7 p.m. And while that long weekend is an exciting time, the Maine Department of Transportation issued these warnings today on social media, reminding drivers to stay sober and drive responsibly over the weekend.